Hi folks, this is Bill with Cleveland Handyman and Consulting bringing you yet another video. Hope you're well. It's a Monday morning. Uh, this is the first video that I've made in some time. Uh, I struggled with the effects of the second shot, uh, vaccine. And then I had a, a allergy attack and then I got sick with my kids. So, um, I'm happy to be back. <laughs> it's good. The sun's out. It's not too hot. So, um, so this house in question, <clears throat> uh, North Central Ohio, and uh, I'd like to give you a little brief recap where we're at. This is a home that we remodeled oh a couple uh, a couple years ago, and uh, the owner is out of town. We've been working very closely with them, and uh, as you can see, the front yard is dirt. Why? Okay. So this this series this this uh, this video this morning is about um, the services that I offer. I usually don't say that I'm a detective or I'm, that I'm an advocate or that I'm some type of a. Con well, I do say consulting. Um, so so case in point, this house uh, for the last six months nine months has been having problems with the the, the sewer backing up in the basement. So the homeowner. The landlord, he went ahead, uh, they went ahead and hired a plumbing contractor to come in and snake it. They said, nope, they couldn't do it and that they needed to replace 30 feet of the lateral drain for the sewer. And they also took out this tree. And uh, so we're talking at least 5,000 when you have a trencher come in, a backhoe come in, you do that, rotor rooter, any, it's, you know, it's 5,000 to begin with. And all that work was done. Uh, the landlords, the owners, they paid and, and a couple weeks later, same problems. Backing up in the basement. What's the matter? What's going on? Well, I had one of my guys come in and we did, uh, we did the snake, we did the camera and, um, <clears throat> and this is where it, everything started. So let me walk out here. This is a century home. This is a beautiful home inside. Uh, some pictures I, I have posted later or earlier on the Facebook. So, so somewhere, so actually you could see the, the manhole cover in that driveway. Well, there is a sewer line that runs on the east side of the city, uh, of, the, of the street, but it only feeds the eastern houses on this street. In the 1980s, there was a major uh, sewer line remodel in this community, and now all of these homes on the west side of the street have their lateral have their discharge line, you flush the toilet, goes down the pipe, the, the vertical pipe in the basement, that stack, and then it goes out here in this house, it goes to the back uh, 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 of the house, uh, underground, septic, all the way back into the main line of the city, the sewer line. In the 1980s, this got capped, this line got capped and was inactive. The active line is in the back of the house. But the plumbing crew that came in and charged and then and then took the tree out, that's, you know, there's an insurance expense. You know, that was a $500 tree. Um, you can't grow a tree overnight. The, the insurance company gives you some, you know, plus up. Uh, so, so, so this was verified by the sewer engineer of the city the other day to me that yes, indeed, Bill, in fact, the sewer line for these houses on the west side of the street goes to the back of the house. So that company that was hired to come in, they charged $5,000, they took out this tree, and then now the whole front yard needs to be re redone. And it didn't fix the problem. Why? negligence the plumbing company didn't research to find out that the sewer line was in the back of the house and there's no there's no digging in the back there's a fence and nothing was removed and 
it was all right here. So now I'm providing all of this information to the, the homeowner and they need to make the decision what to do with it. But it wasn't until I came in onto the scene and did some a little bit of research investigation to find out that what was done by these contractors didn't didn't fix the problem. Actually, it caused in excess of six thousand dollars of damages, repairs that that offer no resolution. So th this will be something that's on the table for the, the, the homeowners to decide what they're going to do with it. But I just share that with you. This is some of the the advice, the 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 research, the detective work, the sleuthing that I offer to my clients. Hope you're well. Pray for us, hoping that we know what to do with this. I, I hope a lawyer doesn't need to get involved. You know, most smaller contractors, you know, uh, businesses, you know that, you know, we did a work. Don't let don't leave us alone. And we say, no, no, you 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 did a front, and it should have been in the back. Oh, um, and they'll just try and sweep it under the rug. So a lawyer may even need to be involved to be able to recoup the, the expenses because the sewer line in the back still is in the same condition as it was before. So we had it snaked and there's a, there's a rotary blade that you can put in that opens up the line and cuts all the roots out and any abstractions, but it's gonna happen again because it's the back line that's collapsed, not the front line. The front line's been inactive since the 1980s. So I know this is long, hope you're well. So hope you learned something from this and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.